Well, this is Dr. Bill Burnett, and I'm going to talk today about the five-factor model for the diagnosis or the identification of parental alienation. Parental alienation is a mental condition in which a child, usually one whose parents are engaged in a high conflict separation or divorce, allies strongly with one parent, called the preferred parent, and rejects a relationship with the other parent, the alienated parent, without legitimate justification. So, in this definition, uh, parental alienation refers to the condition of the child, and the phrase alienating behaviors refers to the acts of the alienating parent that cause parental alienation in the child. So a development in the last few years has been the creation or the introduction of the five-factor model for the identification of parental alienation. Let's go through the five factors. The first factor is that the child resists uh, having a relationship with the uh, rejected parent. So sometimes it's called contact refusal, but it doesn't simply mean refusing physical contact. It means refusing a relationship with that parent. Factor two is that the child and the rejected parent previously had a good relationship. In other words, back in years before, or perhaps even months before, there was a good relationship, but now the child is rejecting that parent. Third, there's an absence of abuse or neglect or seriously deficient parenting on the part of the rejected parent. In other words, that's the difference between alienation and estrangement. In alienation, the rejection is unwarranted, while in estrangement, it's warranted. Factor four is the alienating behaviors, the use of multiple alienating behaviors on the part of the favorite parent. And there are many of them, many possible. There are 17 have been identified in the literature, but I'm sure there are more than that. And in, to make a, a case for parental alienation, you have to be able to show that the preferred or the alienating parent has engaged in some of those behaviors. And finally, factor five is that the child exhibits many of the eight typical behavioral manifestations of parental alienation. There are eight common manifestations. You know, they start with campaign of denigration, and the second one is frivolous rationalizations for the denigration, and so on. There are eight of those. So in order to make the diagnosis, you need to have all five of the factors that I've just enumerated. Thank you very much.